hello collective welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing well so you guys um i heard incoming message okay so there could be a message okay coming to you guys soon maybe from someone all right but or this is the message here for you all right but incoming message okay this could be a uh, lover friend family member whomever okay yeah, somebody's in despair right now due to some sort of uh, decision. Yeah, wow. So, let's see. Incoming message. What's the overall energy for this reading today? I think I'm going to title that this. Distant horizons. Yeah. Incoming message. In the distant horizons, there's going to be some sort of unexpected money. All right? And somebody's concerned about... A courtship maybe working together because there was some message of concern that something has changed in their occupation i feel like due to a choice here that they made something ended here yeah something came to an end we got an official person here a uh, sudden wealth here with the child adjudication they were thinking maybe that they were going to be held in high honor in a certain marriage or a marriage or something was going to be above something here all right so either either this is like a relationship here or a situation where um somebody thought they would have the upper hand in a distance because they're married or or something like that but maybe incoming message you can expect something to come to you here yeah yeah okay this could be a leo here okay emperor father boss this is definitely something is being illuminated to this emperor a father a boss a dm whoever this is all right let's see here but distant horizons here so this is like in the near future right let's see what's the message here yeah somebody made a lot of mistakes and i feel like th there is somebody there's gonna have to be a brand new cycle a happy new cycle Somebody gonna feel like a fool in the distant horizons because they're gonna they could have been happy or something like that. All right, I don't know how this is going for you guys. Yes, yeah, somebody definitely got burnt by the sun there. Okay. Oh boy, let's see what's going on. I'm hearing I'm freed. Thank God. Okay, yes. We got immortality that just popped out like that. And the knowledge here. That you were a catalyst for someone that was in this anti-hero energy. And they could have made a mistake trying to manipulate a situation when you were being nice or sweet or polite about something. They're going to get burnt by the sun. Or they're realizing that. They got the knowledge like they messed up or they will in the distant horizons. Okay. Yeah, because we got promise here and revelation. So I promise you, you guys, this could reading could be a confirmation for you guys later on. But... Or this is happening now, okay? And somebody's going to wish they did something is what I just heard. Oh, man. I don't know what that means because it's like a daunting feeling a little bit when I said that. So somebody's going to wish they did something about something, a situation, uh, something. Okay, let's see. Courage. Yeah, they're going to wish they had the courage to do something here. Because it says... The consuming family and peer pressure on this immortality card. Maybe the six represents in the past here. 2018 could be very significant. Yeah, wit. Eight, okay. August 6th, uh, 18th. All right, is that 18 there? Yeah, August 18th could be significant here. Or 818, okay. 818. Let's check him out. Angel number 818, please. Angels and guide are and guidances are guiding you and encouraging you to be clear in your heart about how you want your current situation to unfold before you take any further action. So your angels and your spirit guides are encouraging you right now or calling to someone here to be clear in your heart here about how you want your current situation to unfold before you take any action, okay? So have it already set in your heart chakra 
Yeah. But somebody may have thought that they could outsmart you with manipulation, emotional manipulation here. Yeah, because I'm seeing this cup is no water in it. So it's no love. So somebody going to feel like a dumbass for not giving you no love, being peer pressured by a family. They thought that they would be, out, be able to outsmart you because we got the wit here. You survived someone's magic because you've seen something here. Wow. And there was a duty here for this, some sort of sister love or whoever this is, unguarded to maybe put your guards down. But the secret is that they were like fighting you or doing something here. What the hell? So somebody in the distant horizons here is going to, uh, definitely, I heard great fall. That's why they getting burnt by the sun. Huh. Somebody needed courage here to do something. All right, you guys. Let's see what this is. Wow, that just went. Yes, honey. Somebody is now feeling cast out now. And in the depth and feeling abandoned because you're not going to let fear stop you this time. So if you are afraid uh, to fall in love, if you are afraid to move, if you are afraid to do something or leave a person, you're not going to let fear because you got this courage here. Right. Somebody also could have tried to do a binding um, ritual or something to distort your view or your vision on something. Did not want to go in. Yeah. So find this, uh So you had the courage to find solitude in your unknown places in the dark here. I'm hearing that speaking volumes in a way here. Yeah. So you're about to attract wonderful news. So in your darkest hour, if your body or your mind, so something was chaotic or whatever this is. You found a solution is what I'm hearing to face something. The, you know, the new moon, it is like, uh, you can't see. Okay. Um, there's also a lot of illusions that go on around the new moon and you could have faced these monsters And that was it. You had the courage to dive deep here and face these fears. I feel like the monsters are your fears and broke something. I'm hearing you broke the chain or you broke something here. Because you was afraid to do something. You were all in your head about something collective or somebody else was all in their head. Because somebody was afraid here. But somebody got peer pressured as well. But you had the courage to do something that they didn't to forgive. I, I This is beautiful. So you had the courage to forgive. Yeah. In your dark places. Even though you were in your darkest hour, you worked through your feelings. Yeah. Wow. Collective. Now, in the in your darkest hour, you are opening up to change now. So something, you are more open up to change and maybe more acceptance. That's why you won't let fear uh, stop you right now. You got detoxify. So you could have detoxed your life here. And you revealed what needed to be seen. Look at that. Maybe you guys did a cleansing or whatever, but I feel like you guys detoxified your mind, body, soul, whatever, right? And you revealed what you needed to see here. And now you get to assess the situation. Yeah. Yeah. And you practice gratitude here. Okay. Yeah. Go wild and clear your mind. So I feel like you're clearing your mind of something here or someone is, okay? Okay. Collective. So, what is this? 
Okay. Okay, guys. Hmm. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, we got an apology. So we have apology there. Energetically, don't take it personal. I'm sorry, don't take it personal. Maybe somebody wants to apologize. They want your forgiveness here. They want you to work through your feelings. All right. And cleanse your energy here. Or that's what you already have done, collective. All right. Yeah, something, someone you're supposed to be working together with here. Yeah, we have a pushover, though. Somebody wants you to forgive them for thinking you're a pushover because you're getting good karma. This pushover is getting good karma here, okay? Like, that's how the universe is saying that. So, somebody thought you was a pushover here, okay? And it says, treat yourself, don't cheat yourself, okay? Wow. Wow, yeah, You somebody want to talk about co-parenting? you like, what you talking about, Willis? Okay. Yeah, to be loved here. It says, equal love here. A connection, a diamond in the rough. So somebody has been cheating themselves here when it came to you. All right. Male or female. Yeah, we have a, a wow. Angry shit starter. Bust the windows out your car kind of individuals. Who the hell is that? Maybe that's the person that's in the way. So repeat after me. Every storm is going to move. So whatever storm somebody was going through, somebody could be dealing with somebody that's crazy as fuck. Could be a Pisces, a Aries, or a Taurus. All right. But yeah. Wow, we have an alpha female. Okay. Yeah, you have grown spiritually here, alpha female. Or you have uh, helped somebody grow spiritually here. Yeah, I feel like you are not keeping your options open, though. Or there may be a need to. Okay. Maybe you. Okay, yeah. The alpha female, the re. Okay, here we go. Alpha female. So, alpha female, you are you have had some spiritual growth here, okay? Um, you are not keeping your options open as far as maybe you're not dating. You could be single right now, all right? So, you found solace in your in solitude, right? Let's see here. What else? Somebody may be seeing that and you want real love. Yeah, a lady of the night here. Maybe somebody had thought that about you. Mm. Or that's who this person they was dealing with. Yeah, and they want to be with this person. You? Yeah, but somebody is shy, too shy to apologize. Yeah, because they know that you don't want the same shit because your spiritual gifts is on 10. Right? So somebody's a little nervous to say something to this empress, an alpha female that has grown spiritually here. All right? But somebody's been cheating themselves because they're dealing with this lady of the night that they really not interested in. All right. Yeah, overindulging. Somebody that's overindulges and bull crap here. All right. Trying to somebody is sneaky and can't cover their shit up here. Whoever this person is. Yeah. Because I feel like somebody knows about you, collective. And this is bringing some sort of health matters here to someone. That somebody's making some sort of judgment war. Ooh, to do some sort of spiritual warfare. Somebody literally is trying to fake it till they make it. They faking to be loyal to somebody right now. What the hell? Because they're doing something. Because they know that you are the one for this person or something like that. Same shit, different day. Yeah, and they don't want to bring that same toxic energy around you or whatever this is. Yeah, because your spiritual gifts already picked up on it. Yeah, it was always more to a story here about a situation collective. Yeah, somebody was just running the course until something got proved here. So if you were like that person that was like, you know, around the way girl, whatever, somebody's going to feel like a fool though because they're playing a very dangerous game right now. All right. Somebody is supposed to be learning a lesson collective is what I'm picking up. But somebody, I feel like somebody's trying to run the clock out or whatever is going on with somebody's situation. Let's see here, collective. What is this? So we got the King of Swords, 
I seen the devil and the six of cups. So it could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or somebody from your past. The truth about the past, about somebody being toxic. All right, or something bad happening, okay? Somebody being controlling or in a devil energy. I feel like you had the power to take your power back or you got your strength back here. Yeah, I feel like somebody, you could be taking leaps of faith now or going somewhere here. Because somebody in a full and a reverse, they didn't. Take a leap of faith here and this could affect their distant horizons. All right, let's see. So in the present moment, let's see. Spare, what's the message? Coming towards y'all. That yeah, three of wands. So preparing to receive. Somebody is watching you. They seen that you took some sort of action. Or somebody got message that you took some sort of action here. What's the um how's this coming in here? What is what is going on here? The six of cups. So something from your past, past life, somebody from your family, okay, your legacy, a choice somebody is making to apologize to you here, okay. Somebody is definitely maybe wanting to say something to you or give you some sort of communication. What is the um, obstacle though right now? The nine of cups. Somebody wishing they was the king of pentacles or stable enough to come towards you. I feel like right now something is challenging here because there's about to be an end to someone's stability. And the truth is they feel like they missed the opportunity because they was juggling. All right. If they should come towards you or not. All right. Or somebody's going to lose a relationship or something. What's the um, outcome of this? The Empress. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. Empress. I feel like somebody feels defeated by you. Yeah. I feel like somebody definitely feels like defeated here. I feel like it's challenging now for this King of Wands to message you. All right. Because you're surrendering to your emperor. And that was the right thing to do. It was divine timing. What the fuck? So there was a king of wands trying to block your emperor. You surrendered to the emperor. Empress. So now, um, if somebody was trying to block this or do something, we got a uh, Aries, Scorpio, and a Pisces, and a Libra, and a Taurus here. We got Aquarius at the bottom of the deck. But that's the truth. So you surrender, Empress. Yeah, your ego, your control, or something like that. You grew spiritually here. You detoxed and something changed from you being this aggressive lover to more in that confident energy with the alpha female. And that was all about your spiritual growth. So you grew. So there's some sort of growth spurt, okay, that's happening. Somebody was trying to stop. So three of wands. So prepare to receive something. There's some opportunities that could be coming towards you here. But let's see. Three of wands. Ten of Wands, somebody was preparing to receive a burden here in love or some sort of struggle in love. Somebody was waiting for you to struggle about your feelings about someone or something like that. Or somebody is struggling about their feelings. But the somebody is preparing to receive some sort of heavy burden. Something is overwhelming. What's the Ten of Wands here? Why? That's the truth, King of Swords. That's the truth because they're watching you or they got knowledge. Because it's a burden because the truth is that, that you have clarity about the four of wands. Maybe your twin flame and you're making a judgment call. All right. Or you made a final decision or you were awakened to something. What's the king of uh, swords here? The nine of wands. Yes, yeah, somebody. Okay, let me see. Because the Nine of Wands is believing in yourself. Somebody sees the truth now. Somebody was waiting for you to be burdened. But the truth is you really don't give up. When it comes to having stability or being a wife or having a brand new passionate beginning and a new cycle with your emperor. Like somebody, even after this person walked away from you or like somebody like you really not giving up on this Aries, this Sagittarius, this Capricorn or whoever, Aquarius, whatever, whoever this person is, somebody thought you was going to give up, but you, your belief, they know like somebody is like, I'm somebody's preparing, you was prepared, you was prepared for the worst, but the truth is don't give up on what you want. It's like you're prepared to receive some burdens, but that's not it. King of Swords is like, there's some sort of a truth coming in. 
that you believe in yourself. What's the nine of wands here? So you're the wounded warrior. Nine of wands here. This is you so having that soul ascension. Oh my God, true love. So yeah, you 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 did something. Now your intuition, somebody knows that you about you had the strength to heal from the five of cups, and somebody was trying to come towards you to stop you. And leave heartache and pain. But I feel like somebody was working together with someone else to, I guess, cause conflict so you can miss an opportunity. That backfired. Oh, my gosh. That backfired. All right. There was a tower moment here to somebody's long-term investment. All right. Or this is going to come out of nowhere. But at the end of the day, you had some soul ascension. Yes. Six of Wands. Yes. So there is some sort of change now when it comes to your relational relation status or whatever you had to get out of your own way what's the six of cups what happened here yeah in the past somebody could have got the message that you moved you were traveling or you're going to go towards a relationship here and somebody came towards you to block you all right so somebody got the news that you were going to move forward here or in the past, there was good news that you're moving forward to more common waters with someone or somebody from your past life here. Yeah, I feel like they got the message that you walked away from juggling, whether this was your thoughts, finances, whether this was your energy. You walked away from that. Yeah, and you got victory and success in your darkest hours. So your self-sabotaging energy is over. All right. So you did something you thought you couldn't do here. But it was heavy on you and you did it. Okay, that's this empress. You did it with grace is what I'm hearing. Who the eight of cups? So somebody's getting a message that you walked away or you're restless here or you're desiring more. In the past, they got that message. What's the eight of cups? Three of cups. So I mean, three of um pentacles. So maybe somebody could have walked away here. Somebody may be coming towards you. Somebody from your past may be messaging you, incoming message that they're walking away from a plan. And somebody's about to get more practical. They go to three of cups. Somebody actually is being practical now. And they want to, or they want you to trust them. They want you to be their friend. Or they want to celebrate the something here. Or a friend was celebrating the fact that they messed up or they lost the four of wands. Somebody may have found that. They walking away from a third party, a Capricorn here, or a Pisces, or Scorpio. So what is this three of um, pentacles here, or some sort of plan? What is, yeah, emperor. So somebody could be being restless here. Yeah, I feel like in the past, somebody got the message that you could have walked away from a plan or planning with your emperor out of illusion or fear, which uh, caused conflict to your karmic justice. So by you sacrificing or letting go of something, you're about to have a fresh start quickly. All right, because somebody is single now or whatever. Okay. So in the past, there was a walk away from someone here. Maybe your emperor walked away from you. All right, but that was the plan or something like that. But they're getting this, like, aha epiphany here. Okay, yeah. Now somebody want to move to more common waters here to a relationship. Yeah, somebody may be traveling towards you. They ready to put the work in. What's the nine of cups? The obstacle was this wish you've been wishing for. Life is good or something like that. What's the nine of cups? Yeah, somebody wish they would have came towards you here. All right, to cause some sort of stalemate. Or they wish that they had discipline or structure and discipline to avoid heartache and pain. Or something like that. So they didn't miss an opportunity with you. What's this chariot here? Maybe somebody wished they would have traveled. Yeah. Five of swords here. Or had structure and discipline here. Yeah. Five, five. Somebody definitely feels defeated now. Or feel like they sabotaged some victory and success. To be the king of pentacles. Or to be your husband. Alright. Or something like that. What is this? Uh, five of swords. Yeah, I feel like somebody's getting real realistic right now about love, how much you love yourself, why you're loved. 
somebody's all in their head right now because they was really trying to avoid some sort of heartache and pain. But maybe inside, but there was some sort of internal quarrel or some needless drama that was going on that made somebody miss an opportunity or something like that. Yeah, somebody was very much invested in doing something here or being a player or whatever this was. Somebody was more focused on that and they could have missed out on their empress. So what is this? Empress here. So the outcome is the empress. Six of pentacles. So empress, there's some balance. Yeah, wow. Queen of pentacles, ten of pentacles. So there could be some money coming towards you here. Okay. That was held back from you or something like that. Yeah, so some balance is being restored from something that was imbalanced. Empress. So you all about balance, giving and receiving. Okay, so prepare to receive something. That's what I heard with the Six of Pentacles. What's the Six of Pentacles, please? The lovers, a soulmate, a twin flame, or whatever. Yeah, a brand new cycle with a soulmate here. Yeah, and I'm hearing that song by, um, I think her name is Summer Work Walker. She wants something to work out so bad. Somebody wants something to work out so bad with you or it will work out really good with you guys. So what's this uh, lover's card here? So Empress, I feel like somebody is bringing balance here or wanting to give you something, but somebody needed to make a choice, maybe even between two lovers. What's the lovers here? Yeah, the Knight of Swords here. But that's, that's what's going to cause challenges for you to trust this Gemini, this Taurus. All right. Yeah, I feel like somebody's about to be practical here. All right. Yeah, and embrace something here. Yeah, you could have you could embrace something here that was causing imbalances and you you conquered it. Yeah, that's why something is going in your favor. So somebody want to they want to uh, apologize to you about something y'all or whatever this is. But somebody definitely knows that. Damn, it's gonna be too much of a challenge now because. For you to choose them here, yeah, this weekend something could have happened here. All right, but let's see here. Yeah, Earth Angel, there you are. Okay, so somebody definitely sees you as an Earth Angel this weekend. I'm hearing you have the power to forgive, no matter what. Yeah, somebody feels like they lost you for good here. Somebody also might have an STD. All right, I just seen that. So let's see what's going on here. We have a Leo here. Could be dealing with a Leo. This is this Leo, or you're the Leo. Okay. We have a low vibrational energy here. We have Leo. Yeah, that was connected to y'all soul contract. A Virgo. They can't believe they messed this up. When a new moon, something backfired. Why can't I find somebody like you? They all in their head and their feelings on Saturday. So if you're feeling emotional, it's this Leo pulling on your energy this today. Okay. Expect positive changes though. Because somebody's magic backfiring times 10 on this karmic woman, a Aries. All right. I feel like somebody knew you were a high priestess. That's why they're going to get karma, this old love. Okay. I feel like they know why they were getting karma here. They feel bad for what they did. They had, they don't understand. Like something is really fucking somebody up mentally here. All right. With these mental issues. Because you was this person true love here. You, it was very financially stable. He saw it. You're very financially stable here. Or money is about to come to you in lump sums or something. Um, and he is definitely about to experience that hex, that curse that he put on you. He could have said that his empress, yeah, STD. You, somebody could have said you had an STD empress. Okay, that was the wrong thing to do here. That was a lie. Okay, they could have blocked you here. Okay, that's why you've been blocked for three years. So something, something was like surrounded by lies and deception and all types of shit. All right, so somebody's seeing you get this or about to be very abundant here and he's salty because he did everything he could to try to block you here even get do a hex so that you can catch a std or even get a std from somebody that's messed up and somebody knew you were the empress here you was the right choice or you made the right choice here all right when it came to a gemini or something like that and somebody wants you to unblock them here three years ago, but they about to learn a hard lesson, whoever she is, because somebody lied to them about everything on Friday. You was connected to the all, and you always been protected from any hexes and curses, all right? So somebody was lying to someone to do work on you and all types of shit, y'all. Like, this is crazy. 
Yeah, last weekend, M-N-O-R-P. First, last, middle, initial. Yours or theirs. All right. They were trying to block your true emperor or divine partnership here. Okay, yeah, you learned this lesson here. You get to let it go here. Somebody else did not. The emperor here, we have, was trying to, maybe you're protected from all uh, evil eyes or they, they were sending you to evil eye, A, B, C, and D, M, N, O, or P. Okay, a cancer here, Monday. She was trying to set him up, U, Y, and Z, Sunday and last weekend. So somebody set somebody up last weekend to lose their divine feminine. It's going to be a challenge uh, because somebody has somebody maybe um, under some sort of spell or whatever. It's backfiring on them times 10. Okay, whatever this is here. All right, because you had the power to surrender and you surrender to your soul purpose or your soul contract. Whatever this is, is a very beautiful and I'm hearing pivotal moment for you guys. Okay, um, despite if your person uh, responded in the correct way or not, you took your power back. And this is detoxifying your life here from something as well here. Yes, cannot make it up. And this is a blessing for good work. So expect some serious blessings to come to you here. Divine feminines here. All right. Yeah, and a blessing for the right words. So somebody definitely was looking for the right words here. I feel like a blessing on your resolution here. And a blessing of water here. Blessing of love. You got a masculine there. So I hope this helped you. Have a blessed day.